We think given what's going on downtown with how much it's building up and evolving, that Williamsport could totally use something like this, something different, something <laughs> fun, um, just to give people something else to do. Um, yeah, so absolutely. I, absolutely. it's a perfect time. We'd come up with a couple of ideas and most of them Jennifer didn't like. So this was the first business idea that we came up with that we sort of agreed on and decided it was it was going to work for both of us. We complement each other very well. We uh, are, have very different personalities and the way we view life. And um, we come together happily in the middle. So Absolutely. this has been something that he's always wanted to do. And for me, I had to be on board with it if it was fun. If it was boring for me, I just, I couldn't do it. So that we met happily with a fun activity we could do. And then I was on board. It's important to us that they walk out of here having a good time. And having a good time means sticking the axe. So... We have an expert with everybody that we can. Sometimes we get packed, we get very, very busy. Um, if we've got a group who has been in here multiple times, they know what they're doing, we can kind of let, let them on their own and help the other people who who's, hasn't been here before. The experience of being that hands-on with our, with our staff and engaged in the, in the overall throwing experience for the customer is what sets us apart. She actually approached me first, and yeah, we used to talk yeah. about children. We did talk all the time because yeah. I'll be always like, "Oh, why yeah. did you get this for him?" And yeah, let's let's see mm -hmm. this shop online or whatever. Yeah. Always a small shop, and every time traveling too, I would go to yeah. other children's boutique and find this cutest, yeah. like unique styles, just things that you can find in a department store. It's just so different and exclusive. So we thought it would be a great idea yeah. to have something yeah. like this. Being young, it's scary because it's a business, a, a actual standing business is an investment. And so it's investment in money, time, um, especially we're, we're both parents. So it's taking time away from our families. Um, yeah. So it's, it's nice to have a partner. And um, I think it helps that I'm younger because I can bring a different uh, perspective. And same thing with her. She's not much older <laughs> than me, um, but also, like her culture, she's from Brazil, so it's I, there's a lot of yeah, a lot yeah. of a lot of like I teamwork think, going. Yeah, here. I think we do help each other a lot. Yeah, I'm thankful that I have a partner because doing it alone would be very very hard. Yeah, that would be hard. Yeah. <laughs> when I first thought about opening a children's boutique, I thought it will only work mm -hmm. if it's on Fourth Street. I mm -hmm. I wouldn't do want to do anywhere else, which I might be wrong, but I really had like a lot of faith in this in this area. Well, Alabaster has been yeah. here for eight years and that brings a lot of people there. Yeah. Patinas has been here for eight years. Yeah. Brickyard, the whole Pine Square, has been here for eight, nine years. Yeah. Before that, there was nothing like that. I remember, yeah. I've been here for 10 years mm -hmm. living in the area and I remember not having much to do downtown. Yeah. And I've had many, many people tell me, oh, it's been so long since we've had a children's store and um, they'll bring up Young Land that was right around the corner. Um, that was back in the day. So people seem to really be happy and are happy they're like finally we have a children's store again so um it's been good i'm so excited to get this off the ground and running um i definitely consider this a passion um i think sometimes i have to stop and take a step back and realize this is also a business and i need to make good business decisions in addition to just really loving the idea of what the break room is i got the idea after my husband passed away um last september and I had a lot of anger and questions and stress and didn't know what to do with those. So uh, one night I was outside angry and just started throwing some bottles and breaking them. And then in the morning I had to clean up the mess. And that was just more stress. And I said, wouldn't it be awesome if we could just go somewhere and break things and let someone else clean up the mess? Did a little bit of research, found out there are some franchise ideas out there that operate around the country, uh, started overseas, and wanted to branch out a little bit from the franchise idea, um, less of a rage room idea, and be more of a break room idea to handle your stress and anger in a healthy way. I think economically, it's a scary time to start a business. Um, I have found in the retail industry that it 
seems to be down across the board with other business owners I talk to. But I have found that some of the more um, destination type businesses or experience type businesses are what is growing in Williamsport right now. And that's what I hope to take advantage of with the break room um, beyond just my passion, but that it is an outlet for someone to have an experience here. The general room that anyone wants to come and break stuff and smash stuff and um, get that anger out, you know, that's the big key feature. But we also just wanted to have a really fun waiting room lounge area. So if you're having a party here of some sort, you can hang out, play foosball, swing on our indoor swing sets, chill out by our imaginary campfire. Uh, we have a gift shop. We have a meditation room uh, that anyone can add on after the rage session. So you can rage and be angry and get all that anger out. And then you can just go decompress and relax.